beginning the course management accounting and we'll start with chapter one and what is unique about this course over most other accounting courses is that we learn not just how to measure value by adding up all the beans we have we learn not just how to measure value but how to create value because managerial accounting allows us to get into detail about the cost structure of all the different processes a business performs and how to improve upon those and we're gonna expand upon that a little bit more but in this first video the motivation here is to set out the difference between management accounting and financial accounting by now you've probably seen at least one financial accounting course so you're familiar with debits and credits and journal entries and recording transactions and when we record transactions we record what has already happened not so with management accounting now from a small business perspective I think that managerial accounting is more critical for success than financial accounting because it does show us how to create value with that said the very first difference between the two should be obvious managerial accounting is really for the insiders of the business managers whereas financial accounting are for outsiders and we'll get to outsiders when we look at a key uh, reason why we want financial information and that is for decision making now those outside the organization what kind of decisions do they need to make who are they well they tend to be investors and creditors people who buy the equity of a company and people who lend money to a company they have to make the right decision based on the financial information that's available hence financial accounting provides that inside the organization managers are concerned with certain functions planning directing and motivating and I'll have more to say on this in the next video directing and motivating monitoring controlling these are sort of broad categories of activities that managers perform but decisions have to be made in each of those categories and those decisions have to be motivated with good data hence the need for managerial accounting the emphasis on managerial accounting is on decisions that affect the future we have to decide what to make who to make it for how to make it these are all things that will happen as we move forward so we need to make the right decisions based on what we think it'll cost us whereas financial accounting reports what has already happened it reports on past activity so it's historical in that sense in fact one of the bases of financial accounting is historical pricing is that that we record transactions based on what we paid for them based on what they cost at that time managerial accounting stresses relevance over anything else the relevance we need the right data and the right information for this decision financial accounting is about precision measuring the cost of our inventory measuring the cost of our fixed assets detailed and segmented data at the managerial level but at the financial accounting level we're looking more at summary data so we would be looking at sales by segment or geography not necessarily by every single product line with management accounting there is no need to follow gap we provide the information in whatever form is useful most relevant but with financial accounting we need comparability across companies got to follow gap management accounting is not mandatory it's not a requirement but financial accounting is a requirement it is a regulatory requirement so that when I say that managerial accounting is not mandatory I mean that only in a regulatory sense it is mandatory from a competitive sense it's mandatory for business survival